Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Peace, probably. And now, we're going to continue going through, I think we're up to chapter 4 now. And Akala Tower only needs three treasure chests. We've got all the Koroks already, so let's just... We can actually just take whatever character we want, really. I'm going to take Hestu, because Hestu has... He also will get the... Korok effect, the Korok sensor effect, if we get enough of his weapons, but... We also need to... Level them up, level them up a bit and get them. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and all of them seem to be in fairly... Easy enough places. Once they actually open up. That's kind of a... Another thing, we have to wait for the level to progress a little bit. This is area's blocked off. What am I going to do? I actually can't remember, it's been so long since I played this level. I'm pretty sure we just activate one of the guardians. And it shoots it for us? Or does the game automatically shoot it for us? I don't know. Okay, so which, what am I doing? Also, there's a monster down this way. A eager blade master. Ow. I have to defeat both eager blade masters. Okay, that works for me. That won't take very long. Get this other one. Come on. Oh, please, weak point smash so that can get out of the way. There we go. Now, is it gonna activate a guardian for me, or do I need to act actually activate a guardian? Okay, it's just going to activate for me. I love how the good ones are gold and they're not red. Okay, let's go. I can probably just skip everything on the bridge and beyond. Mostly. Just as long as I get the treasure chest, it's fine. There's one that's down... Out of, outside of the edge of the citadel, which is probably going to be a little bit out of the way for if you were playing this for the first time, which is understandable as to why I missed it then. Now these ones over here, oh is this one, this one's actually right up in this corner, okay then, um excuse you, there we go, Guardian Spear Plus. It's not going to be a plus plus, but it's still alright, and it's also not going to matter in this game as much as Breath of the Wild. Okay, where's this next one? Oh, right there, okay. Could see it from a mile away. Okay, just one more treasure chest. Can I actually get you people moving? I think I have to... Oh, no, I have to actually, um, activate a Guardian to get into the Citadel, isn't that right? Okay, why is that not working? I guess there's something blocking my path, I guess? Anyway. I'll just do as close as I can and just walk, I guess. Imagine having to walk in a video game. Crazy. Although Hestu's walk is a little bit funny. So can I just go past this area? I guess I couldn't just send a character across. Oh, that's why I couldn't do it. Okay, that makes more sense. Let's blop at this place and myself. And let's figure out what I'm supposed to do. 
Oh, capture the outpost, of course. It says that on the screen. Okay, well, that's done now. Also, the the things that Hesto currently have looks like golden poo. <laughs> Change my mind. Please do it. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Y to do everything, not A to do everything. I wonder if we're going to have more Guardians on our side in Breath of the Wild 2 or not. Whenever that happens. Okay. Can I get review? I think I probably have to get rid of the Eager Blade Master. If I had to guess. Oh, actually, I might also have to go charge. Um. Yeah, let me just send people preemptively. Send you down there. And you over to there. Because I got the feeling like I have to actually. Oh, where's the Yiga Blade Master? I already defeated him. What? I'm pretty sure I have to go activate some more ancient furnaces. Probably. So, okay, there are four. <sighs> I'm going to leave Hestu here just so I can just skip back there when everything else is done. Hang on. Hestu, you just stay there, please. Okay. I remember a little bit of this mission, apparently. Oh. <sighs> There's also more enemies now. So I might just quickly swap because you're this the, the Great Fairy's already in that post, so I might as well get that done while I'm here. Quick my smash. And I believe that means that this is activated, maybe. Activate? Okay, there we go. Now let's send you to the next one. Let's switch back to the monk who just had a double. What was? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? I just there was two of two. There was two, two of two, two of them. There were two of them. I can't remember how to play as monk, which is kind of bad because I. Should be trying to absorb. There was the second one of me again. Hang on, that just happens. Oh, they. Oh, when I dash, I leave a clone that explodes. That's cool. But also. Okay. Just gonna blob this moblin with my clones. And I don't have to worry about wall jumping like this. Okay, I just. I just dashed. <laughs> I dashed because I was making clones and it counted as a, a perfect dodge. That's amazing. Let's activate that. Let's head to the next one. Oh, come on. Don't be silly. What is happening? Okay, you go there. Let's switch to the Great Fairy. Please. Please. You summoned me? Let's use that special, just so it's over quickly. There we go. Let's activate that. And let's switch back, because that was super fast. Please. Please. Oh my goodness. Switching is having a bit of trouble today. Which is it's funny, because of the console. Come on. Oh. I think I remember how to use Monk now. You actually have to use your strong attacks to build gauge so you can become massive. As it says, become massive. Beautiful. 
become massive. Just do that a whole bunch. Flurry rush, of course, and a weak point smash. Okay, we're almost at that last treasure chest. It's a lot of work to try and get it, though. Surprisingly. Please switch. Oh my goodness. There we go. My turn? My turn? It is my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. I did it. Game. Go faster. I'm, I'm too fast for the game to handle right now. And the Guardian's on a rampage, run away. Yeah, that's definitely a rampage. It's very rampagey. Anyway, let's go to get this last treasure chest and then we'll probably be done here, basically. I'll probably just do the rest, which shouldn't take too long. Now, where is this? Oh, it's right there. How did I miss that? I would have thought I would have seen, I've seen that. Anyway, I'm going to see you on the map. Okay, so that one's completed now. So let's go back to the, the thing. And the next one is to destroy the Yiga Clan with two chests and two Koroks. So let's get uh, who we want to take in with us, which is probably going to be Link with the tree branch. And Zelda... Not with the bow of light though, I need the ancient overclock unit, 25 levels at least. Let's do that. And does Zelda have any... Oh yeah, I can actually change to Zelda's winter clothes, but I don't think I'm going to keep that. So, let's just go like this, and I might actually use Zelda as my main use character. But I can use both, because I, I can go and split the work, you know. Good stuff. Let's go. Uh, let's go just to the regular battle. Okay, let's go. Oh, and there's one here, which is makes sense. So where exactly is it? There's actually quite a lot of area back here that I've never explored. I went straight into battle last time. Okay, there's nothing over here, apparently, which is surprising. But maybe... Around somewhere. Not quite. It's a little bit further forward, apparently. Oh, is that it? Yes, it is. Let's grab that. That's one down. I believe there's there were two. I I have terrible memory, so. Oh, and it's nearby. Of course, both of them were at the start. Of course, it just ah, I wouldn't expect anything less from me. Is it down there? Hang on. I'm gonna ignore these guys. I'm just busy looking at other things right now. It does look like it's down here. Oh my goodness, it's right there. I'm gonna need to stasis it so that works. Cool, that's done. Let's go. What just... Did I... Oh, did it not like me? Okay. It gave me the Korok Seed before it appeared. That's interesting. I wonder if you can actually skip the animation for some of them. That'd be nice. But I don't think I'm going to be that lucky. Anyway, I think I'm going to skip ahead to the two treasure chests and then we'll be done. Okay, so the first one is right over here in this corner. Apparently I missed that super easily somehow, so... Okay, so I think just after saving the scout from the cell, uh, everything else opens up, so I think I can now get to the treasure chest because it actually was locked up previously. I'm not sure if this is open now or not, but I think it probably is. I just have to get all the way back there, which is um, a little bit more 
um, tedious than it should be, considering how easy it is to get lost in here. Even with the map telling me where I'm supposed to go. So, I need to go all the way back here, because this door was locked before. And now, let's go through here. And I probably don't, didn't even look at this place at all. Because the treasure chest is right over here. There we go, some 10 luminous stone. I'm guessing this isn't going to open if I... Yeah. I did manage to pull some weapons from somewhere, though. Anyway, I will see you back at the map now. Okay, that's another one completed. Now, how's this one? I could do this one since it's a blood moon, just so I can get a little bit of extra XP out of it, but I think I'm actually gonna ignore blood moons for the most part, for now. But anyway, we have one chest left in When Courage Fails. Probably because I did it pointlessly before trying to get Koroks, or trying to get something that didn't exist to happen. And I got a few chests along the way, I think. But anyway, let's have a look at it. Okay, it's not that far away, so let's go have a look at going to get it. And then I'll do the rest of the mission, and then it'll be done. This is... Cleaning up now is doing... going really well. Especially since some of them don't take much work. Like, getting what I need at least. The actual finishing up the mission takes a little bit of extra time. But there's this chest right there, and yeah. Okay, that's that one done. That's about halfway through the story, though. So, let's go to chapter 5. Calamity Strikes is complete. Water and Fire. Oh, because these are when we're getting the Divine Beasts back. Okay. So, there's only two treasure chests in this one to get. So it doesn't matter which characters I take, but I'm probably going to just take Link because he's strongest. And let's go get the tr treasures. Let's go just regular battle. Okay, they are both fairly far in. So I'm probably going to need to skip ahead. So I'll see you once I actually get a little bit closer to them. Okay, now that I've freed one Divine Beast, this seems like a good place to go get both of the treasure chests. So, let's go up this way. All the way. I probably don't actually need to go... Which, where's the path? Hang on. I'm figuring it out over this way, okay. Because if you go up the other, other way, you can jump down to here. But that's not really where you want to go if you want to be quick and... The chest is right over here. Get a Zora Sword from that. Okay, and now, let's go get the other one, which we can probably actually switch to Sidon for. If we don't get interrupted by cutscenes trying to tell me things I already know. That are unskippable. Because aren't, they aren't technically cutscenes. I guess, I guess they are tech... They are, they are cutscenes, but they aren't pre-rendered. Pre Please let me go. Freedom. Okay, so the chest is right up there. You can see it already. So let's grab that, and it's a silver scale spear. So that's all of that done, and I will see you back on the map again. Very nice, another one complete. And now, we're getting through this a lot faster than I thought I could. Air and Lightning. We have one Korok and one Treasure Chest. And I'm going to actually switch in uh, Zelda for this, so I can have that as an extra option. So, let's go, and let's go to the regular battle. Yep. 
Okay, the treasure chest isn't that far away, and I, but I don't know about the Korok. It could be literally anywhere. Anyway, I'm gonna be. Go, I'm gonna go get that chest, and if I find, if I get the Korok to show up on my sensor, I will return in brilliant quality. Nah, that's probably not brilliant quality. And let's be honest here, but I'll be back whenever I get uh, either of those things. So by switching to Zelda, which is what you're supposed to do to go to the second character and all that, uh, it turns out the Korok is nearby, and this is also closer to where the um, the chest is, so... I imagine the Korok's around here somewhere-ish. It might even be in a chest, or possibly I might need to blow up something on the wall. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. It's being a little bit weird. So it might be a bit further around than I realize. Like down here. Or maybe it was further up the path and I didn't realize it. It just didn't seem to be beeping as much. Let's see if I can figure this out though. So it's probably down this way then. Unless it's in the outpost. That's possible. Is it down here? Oh yeah, there it is. Let's blow that up. And let's go elsewhere. So there we go. That's one. That's the only one that there was, so... Probably want to make sure I actually got that. Which you can actually check how many Koroks you've collected by going into your spoils and seeing... Hang on, never mind. I might be crazy. I th you should be able to do that, right? It doesn't show a Korok, so I'm going to quickly go back and check that I got that. Although it stopped beeping at me, so I'm... Oh, does it just not like you running away before the... Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't like you leaving things, apparently. It really wants you to make sure you get the Koroks and not just leave them. Anyway. I'll do this level and then we'll look at whatever's next. So with that, let's go to chapter 5, I believe. And we've completed this one as well. That just leaves two more chapters left, which this one only has two levels in, and one of them doesn't even have Koroks left. And chapter 7, which has Koroks in the Great Plateau, some Koroks in all Hyrule, Hyrule United, and the future of Hyrule is already completed, so we only have four more levels left to do, and only three of them have Koroks. And that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.